Well guys, Saturday morning. We've left these alone. As Scott put it, you're tempted to pet it, but you gotta walk away like it's a first date. No petting. So it's been a week now. Can I pet it, Scott? Yeah. There's your Blitz Black. Um, uh, Ed of the North there had mentioned about cost on this paint. That it wasn't really that economical compared to other enamels, but uh, the reason for it is the actual appearance. It not so. I know you can go. There's cheaper enamels out there, but the finish and the color. It's just that it's not a flat black. It's not a gloss black. And to get that kind of color in another uh, paint, I just haven't seen it. I've tried a bunch of different ones. Mind you, I was only experimenting with aerosol cans few experiments with aerosol cans but uh, I really like it heck it's a John Deere it's a tractor with with doors all right guys we're gonna put these back together or get them out of my way anyways because the project this weekend because she's 40 degrees outside I'm gonna tackle the hood I want to get the underside of that done same as I did with these I want to prime the outside and uh, paint the jams and the underside of the hood here with the uh, blitz black and that'll be it for the pre-painting I think because then I'm gonna start uh, figuring out how I'm gonna take this whole thing apart and find places to store everything especially when we start getting snowblowers into the mix but it's 40 degrees out now so we don't need these anymore no more no more snow see you guys Sanding sucks. I know. Someone who doesn't like Bondo and doesn't like sanding. I don't know why I get in to fix some trucks up. Should have just stayed in school. Anyways, there we are. We're up to, oh, I don't know, 240. Uh, we're going to give this all a shot of primer. I got the inside of the hood to 240 as well. All up underneath all the edges uh, so we can paint that but we'll show some primer on throw some primer on that I've got to uh, rebag though I think I've if I do any more painting in this area anyways that's where we're at guys oh I'm tired it's hot in here this light alone throws more heat than my wood stove I think but it sure as heck doesn't leave any room for imperfections you can see every little scratch and divot when you got a light like that shining on your work all right that's enough stop yapping start working see ya Okay guys, that'll be it for today. I'll get this uploaded so we've got something to take a look at tonight and talk about and whatever else it is we do. I'm going to be going out tonight so I don't know if I'll be up early tomorrow or not. But uh, that's that and we shall be seeing you tomorrow. I will uh, fire this up again in the morning and uh, get the uh, underside of the hood done. Because I'm kind of hoping that that's going to be my end point here. 
I don't know how much longer I'm going to get this uh, nice weather, but as long as I've got it, I'm going to keep going. And then uh, maybe in uh, March, we might be ready to get this thing uh, finished off. we got a couple more weekends like this. See you guys. Have a good weekend.